this uh, video uh, um, because of a challenge that Bot Parker posed on Number File in a recent video. Oh, what was it about? It's about multiplication persistence. Multiplication persistence. There it is. So how to calculate it, you start with a number, well, any number, <laughs> yeah. then you multiply, multiply its digits, and that will give you a new number. And then you re repeat that step until you end up with a one-digit number, then you stop, and then you just count up how many times um, you multiply the digits together, and then you get multiplication persistence. So basically, if we say that in normal human language, we take a huge number with many digits, and we multiply all the digits together, and then we take that result and multiply all the digits together, and take that result and multiply all the digits together. And we count how many times we had to do that. Yeah. And what did what did Matt Parker say that this number? What was the challenge? The world record. So this number has the world record so far, and it has a surprisingly small persistence. If this about number. These surprisingly big numbers. It has persistence of eleven. This is, by the way, this is something that Simon has written all by himself yeah. in Wolfram Mathematica. So he made sort of like a digest of what we know so far about multiplication persistence. So this number is the record. And this, no, uh, and this is basically like a, and I, I came up with this idea myself. Well, maybe you should show a bigger image because this is really tiny. This, this had a bigger image. is all of the two digit numbers. Can you show the bigger image? I get it, I'm gonna show it afterwards. Okay. So, uh, this is a graph of all of the two digit numbers. Uh, so the, that, those are the vertices. And then they're connected to the result when you multiply the digit. The digits, so eight times six, and that goes to 48, right? So eight times six is 48, so then it connects to 48 like this. And then if you multiply the digits of 48, so 4 times 8, that would get to 32. So that would get us to here. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So we would get to here. And then after that, well, uh, we just get stuck in an infinite loop here. But wait a second. So this little tree is for which number? Uh, this little tree is for numbers that lead to six here ah okay as as the because number because the numbers the 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 vertices are numbers that are all two digit numbers and the number is connected with an arrow to the result that you get when you multiply its digits. Not its persistence, but the result that you get when you multiply its digits. Ah, that's the result. Okay, I got really confused. Yeah. That's the result that you get. And this this was your idea to, to show yeah. it like this, right? Yeah. These are three-digit numbers, only showing the connections, by the way. All numbers would be a mess. But this one you can show... Or will it be a mess? Oh. I have put the numbers in. Yes. <laughs> and... Um, um, it is a mess, except for when you, uh, make the image really big. So I just made the, the image as big as I could. This one I saw yesterday. That's why I was saying, show me a bigger picture, because Simon did show me this yesterday. Now I realize that it's a different one from the two-digit numbers. It's beautiful. It's sort of like what nature. Yeah. So patterns in the nature. Uh, so, so this this tiny one is the number that leads to nine when you multiply that. Just for example, this one three three one, one hundred thirty three. 
So you multiply its digits together one times three times three, and that will get us to nine. And so, and so, and then nine would lead to itself when you multiply its digits. And so, but how did you program this? How did you make this? Did you like? Is this the result that you get from all the three-digit numbers? Did you include all three-digit numbers to yes. get these trees? And can you show the code, how you made it, where this comes from? This. <laughs> this, is this is the beauty of Wolfram, isn't it? That you can, like, you can have just one line It's code. so advanced. Simon is completely... Fascinated. Carried away by this. Uh, okay. So let me, yeah, how I heard is very formal, so I'm gonna just, uh, just describe it. So basically, this is just some code to multiply the digits together. And so I'm saying N connects to the result when you multiply the digits together. Yes. And then... I'm putting that in a table of. I'm putting that in a table of these rules. That's what they're called. So in a table of rules, where this n thing, it will go from zero to nine hundred and ninety-nine. And then, and then we get a graph. And then we make a graph out of that table. So that table just says that we should connect this to this, this to this. So we should connect n, with n going from 0 to 999, to the result when you multiply its digits together. And then this is just saying that we should label the vertices, put the numbers in. Oh, look, there's 999. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> and what does it lead to? Uh, it leads to two, by the way. When you uh, <laughs> uh, so 999 goes to 729 over here, which goes to 126, which goes to <laughs> 314 is in there as well. Uh, okay, uh, it's so pi. It's mm, just a pi. 999 goes to 729, which goes to 126, which goes to 12. Which goes to two? <laughs> okay, so um, so that's four steps. Four steps. So nine hundred ninety nine is a number with persistence four. Okay, it's a number of persistence four. Let's go back to the challenge. It's a number of persistence four, and okay. which is which is quite surprising since you know in number file. Uh, she had to pick a number which is four nine, so nine 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 nine, which has a persistence of three. So oh, so this one has a bigger persistence than a longer number with more digits. Yeah. And let's go back to your code, to your text and code about the challenge. So what you were trying so to do. Two, uh, so, 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 two hundred seventy-seven. This is the same picture, by the way, only in in the smaller version. It looks a little different. Uh, yeah. 277 trillion, 777 billion, 788 million, 888,899 is the smallest number with a persistence of 11. Okay. The, the largest one known is this one. The large one known, we don't know if they're any larger than this. The largest persistence known is, is 11. But no, but the largest number known with the largest persistence we know yeah. <laughs> uh, is this number. It's, not, uh, it's a different number than this one, which is the smallest one. And it's definitely the smallest one. And the challenge is basically to see whether you can calculate a number that has more steps, that has a persistence higher than 11 or to see what kind of persistence a number with 234 digits has, right? Yep. Or have different numbers. And what did you do? I saw that you, Simon wrote most of this yesterday and he showed me 
um, several what you called efficiencies to make it so to make the search easier that you came up with. So they've checked up to two hundred and thirty-three digit numbers. So okay, that's numbers. People, people have checked. So that's numbers this big. Yeah, that's like. And then over, like, and then it continues <laughs> there, over, over there. When you're shaking the phone, it's like people can't see anything. As you can see, I'm talking about numbers that are quite big. Yeah, so 10 to the power of 233. That's a lot of zeros. But this is just it's, an example. It's bigger than a, not only is it bigger than a Google, it's bigger than a Google Google. So it's... <laughs> But this number, 10 to the power of 233, has a persistence of 1, right? Because you, you multiply 1 by 0 and then you're done. Yeah. But you're looking for higher persistence numbers. So you want to eliminate, you told me yesterday, eliminate yeah, so, yes, we such cases. Yes, we have found any more 11-step numbers, so, this, so these... And no 12-step numbers yet. And so we think, so we also think that this is the largest number with a persistence of 11, and that there are no numbers with persistence 12. And so we... Yeah. So what did you do to try, try this challenge? Yeah. But nobody knows that for sure yet. We'll put this and text. So this would be a, a search. We'll put this text. So, in so the this will be kind of like a little interface here. And now this works with a few efficiencies. Now, not yet. I'm I'm implementing uh, the second one right now. By the way, I, I'm I'm using not not the not actually starting from ten to the power of two three three. Uh. But I'm starting from this number instead because because well we should never put a zero in that's one of the efficiencies because right yeah we because then the next step that would immediately get <laughs> now that would e immediately cancel out with uh, the full thing. Well, yeah. We'll see. And we should also, well, if we put a one in, then we can remove the one because 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 then one multiplied by one doesn't change anything, and so that means that we could get. So that means that uh one. We can remove the one. Oh, but then we we got all zeros. So yeah, <laughs> the the smallest number that will not have a one or a zero in it and has two hundred and thirty four digits. <laughs> it's so coincident. Two, three, four <laughs> <laughs> is this one. <laughs> Okay. Two, 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 two. And so there are 234 twos. And for this one, Simon's already done the search, and it, the uh, the persistence number is two. Yeah, the persistence number is two for this one. But then you, you ran into a problem, you told me, because I you, ran into a problem. you included your efficiency in the like conditional or something, right? And then the code doesn't work can you show with your finger on the yeah screen? so basically this one here we can rearrange the num the, the digits and then the multiplication would be the same i thought ah oh, that, that's you know it's like you track of things and yeah but it's actually as simple as only checking numbers in a where the digits are in ascending order <laughs> so uh, yeah because then Yeah, and you don't actually have to keep track of anything, uh, because uh, then the sh uh, any 
shuffled around version of that same number will not be in ascending order. And so... But can you show me, like, when you remove mm -hmm. this, you said, if you remove that, that efficiency condition, then the code does run. But then the so code... you, you're afraid that something's wrong with your code, right? Yeah, something's wrong with my uh, code. Can you show me? If you remove uh, I, that, I, I don't really right? want to, but, uh, but, 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 but I, but, but maybe I, somebody would be able to see what what's wrong. Uh, but I try to, and yeah, so I'm gonna just change the code. One thing that I don't like about it is it flickered. So basically, if I just take this and uh, just remove this like while loop here. Yeah, so you're now removing the, the efficiency condition. So I'm just going to say currents is the current plus... run is run so basically the run variable is this one then just increment it otherwise just don't increment it so, so increment by one if it's running if it's not running increment it by zero which is not doing anything so yeah yeah and so, so now you can if run I, if I little interface. Run it, whoa it just worked when you showed me. It just worked. Maybe you did something. Oh, I, 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 I did this. If I run it. Now, one thing that you might notice about this is that the bar is flickering. <laughs> the bar is, is it's, it's flickering. <laughs> so it's going. So I want to just show that it's running. It's running, although it's running really, really slowly. It's so, also a little bit flickering. Yeah, on the top there. But that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. So it's running. But if we leave it run, it's going to take forever, won't it? Take forever. Okay, so... There we go. Just evaluated it. So what are you going to do? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna uh, just ask, basically. You think you won't be able to come up with a solution yourself anymore? Uh, I've I've tried a bit, and it and um, I I just couldn't find any solution anymore. So I okay. Uh, 